In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good morning and welcome as we gather to celebrate the opening of the school year mass here in La Cala in Tyrrellstown. A word of welcome to Mrs Harrington, to all the staff and students who I know are viewing this online in their classrooms, and to whoever who may be tuned in, I extend to you a Cade Mila Falcia. This time last year, whoever thought that the world would have changed so much, and of course this is not what we're accustomed to when we celebrate the opening of the school year mass. It may not have the bells and whistles of former years, but it is still an important occasion. An occasion when we place before Almighty God our cares, our worries, our needs and our troubles. And I'm offering this Mass for your intentions. May the Lord continue to bless you, to watch over you as you begin this school year. And may you be granted the many gifts and the blessings that you so much deserve. May you be granted good health and also the gift of humility. Today is the Feast of the Guardian Angels. And it's a time to acknowledge, I think, the angels in our lives. The people who look out for us, the people who look after us, and very often the people that we take for granted. We pray during our Mass in a very special way for the second years, who will be angels to the first years. But we also pray and think about the words of Jesus in the Gospel. Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the Kingdom of Heaven. We pray for the new students and the staff who have begun here this year. And we think, of course, of those who are no longer with us, those who have gone to greener pastures. We remember this morning the many people, perhaps in our own families, whom the Lord has called home because of COVID-19. And, of course, the many, many people working on the front line who give tirelessly of themselves for the benefit of others. We begin every Mass by acknowledging our faults and failings, by calling to mind our sins and asking God for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we begin this new school year during these times of uncertainty, we ask your help and protection. May we always be aware of the needs of others and look kindly on those in most need. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now listen to our reading from Scripture. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord says this, I myself will send an angel before you as you go and bring you to the place that I have prepared. Give him reference and listen to all that he says. Offer him no de deference. He will not, he will, he will not do to pardon such a fault, for my name is in him. If you listen carefully to his voice and do all that I say, I shall be your enemy to your enemies, foe to your foes. My angel will go before you, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. Respond. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you in his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. 
response. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Alleluia, alleluia. Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of him. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. When we you know, talk about gifts and talents and achievements, very seldom do we refer to the gift of humility. And in a world where it seems as if it's only the strong who survive. Humility doesn't seem to feature very much. And yet in the gospel we just listened to, Jesus says, unless we change and become like little children, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Now he's not advocating that we become childish. That's a separate issue completely. Jesus wants us to be gentle and humble. And I think we all have an idea of what humility is. It's not about pretending to be not as good as we actually are. And it certainly shouldn't prevent us from taking legitimate pride in our achievements. And if we do something well, well, we're entitled to feel pleased about it. And it definitely shouldn't undermine our confidence or the buzz that we feel when we get good results or when some project goes according to plan. Humility is very much a positive virtue. It's not about having your nose in the air, but having your feet firmly planted on the ground. In fact, the Latin word humus, from which humility comes, means ground or earth. So the humble person is down to earth, no wares and graces, feet firmly planted, things in proper perspective. If we practice humility, if we are gentle, well then we're in no danger of losing the run of ourselves. And our treatment of others is a good indication of whether or not we are truly humble. If we look down our noses at other people, and if we don't look up regularly at God, well then we're in danger of stumbling and falling. If we want to keep things in perspective, we have to stay close to the ground. And throughout the scriptures, Jesus suggests that humility is linked with the way that we treat other people, especially the marginalised. And when we study the lives of the six inspirational leaders, Oscar Romeo, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, Helen Keller and Dorothy Day, one thing particular to all of them was their concern for the less well-off. And the challenge put before us this morning on this the feast of the guardian angels is to continue to be kind and gentle to be humble and considerate always looking out for one another especially those in need and at times you know we can be choosy with 
whom we associate. There's always the danger of becoming selective, even to the point of view where we... On Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry on now. ...they are, or from where they come. Humility is acknowledging what God has done for me. And today, I acknowledge all that Lekela has done for so many. And I've said it so many times, it's always a joy to visit your school here, to be greeted with smiles, with good humour, and most important of all, with politeness. Welcome, wisdom and witness are lived to the full and are very much the hallmark of Lekela. But these things don't just happen by accident. They stem from the top, from the principal, from the deputy principals, from the assistant principals, and they percolate right throughout the school to create that unique family atmosphere that is particular to Lekela. I take this opportunity to acknowledge also all the teachers and the staff here in Lekela and all that they have done for you, the students, and all that they continue to do. There's a wonderful sense of community here where memories are created and goodness is always acknowledged. And you know, in years to come, when you were asked, what do you remember about your school days? I bet you won't be saying we had a good curriculum or the timetable was well planned or we had to wear masks or remain two metres apart. These things are very important, as are other aspects of school life, and they have to be attended to. But what always appears as the most important and significant memory in school is the teacher who recognised you as an individual, who acknowledged your talents, who reassured you that you were capable of doing more than you imagined. And what you will remember is the teacher who helped and encouraged you when things weren't going well and who quietly rejoiced in your small successes. And that is true humility. And that is the beauty of Lekela, because I've said before, this is more than a school. It's a community. It's a family where the values of the gospel are lived every day and where teachers and staff go beyond the requirements of their duty. So boys and girls, may you always appreciate how much is being done for you here and how important you are to the life of the school because you are Lekele. You are the leaders of tomorrow. But today we're being asked to change and become like little children and enter the kingdom of heaven. We pray this morning that we may always practice humility and we will treat other people as we would like them to treat us. We now place before Almighty God our prayers of petition. Dear Guardian Angel, you are our counsellor every day of our lives. Direct us on our path in life to be the people that God is calling us to be. Inspire us to be a light for others to know and love God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear Guardian Angel, you are our defender every day of our lives. Protect us from all that would harm us and help us to learn how to defend and protect ourselves. Keep us from danger, both spiritual and physical, so that we can be the people that God is calling us to be. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Dear guardian angel, you are our teacher every day of our lives. Instruct us how to be kind and gentle, <coughs> caring and loving, patient and understanding. Teach us to be the people that world needs right now. To bring God's love to those most in need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear Guardian Angel, you are our light every day of our lives. Open our eyes and enlighten us so that we may see the needs of others and respond to them. 
Enlighten our hearts and our minds so we can be a light for all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear guardian angel, you are our consoler every day of our lives. Fortify us to be strong when life is hard and our bodies and souls are hurting. Fortify us to have the strength to be the people that God is calling us to be. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear guardian angel, you are our intercessor every day of our lives. Speak for us to God about our lives and whisper our prayers into his ear. Help us to hear God's will in our lives each day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We offer these prayers and all our unspoken prayers to God our Father through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, these are our prayers spoken and unspoken. We make them with confidence through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. That the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord God, with our simple gifts of bread and wine, we offer you ourselves. As we prepare to meet Jesus in the breaking of the bread, may the Holy Eucharist bring us closer to you and to one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. God, our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. You sent your son Jesus to bring us to you and to gather us around him as children of one family. For such great love, we thank you. Now with the angels and saints, we praise you together as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends and makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as your children and love one another. God our Father, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord, our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church, with Francis our Pope, dear with our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember, Father, our families and friends and all those we do not love as we should. Remember those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. Gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother. There all the friends of Jesus will sing a song of joy. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray to God our Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life, my Lord and my God. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Unless you change and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh, 
Let us pray. Loving God, you have fed us through your word and sacrament. In this, our new school year, help us to journey in faith, to recognise Jesus in all people, and to serve you with humility, compassion and love. We now listen to our reflection. You are special. In the entire world, there is nobody just like you. Since the beginning of time, there has never been another person like you. Nobody has your smile, your hands, your eyes, your hair. No one owns your handwriting or your voice. Nobody can paint your brush strokes on the canvas of life. You are the only one in the whole universe who sees things as you do. Throughout all eternity, no one will ever think or do exactly as you do. What makes you laugh or cry is unique to you. You are the only one who has your particular set of abilities. There is always someone who is better at one thing or another. This is the way life is, and if we were all exactly at the same level, life could be boring. But no one else can match the combination of your talents, your feelings, and your special gifts. This unique combination which you have when used in harmony is such a beautiful symphony. I now hand you over to Mr. McCann. So this is a very special moment in the school calendar where we commissioned the second year, angel, second year angels to first years and to keep them along the right path and mentor them throughout the year. So I'd ask all second years to please stand and follow me in the prayer. Powerful Spirit of God, you guide us and light our way. Bless our second year students as they take on the role of angels of our first year students. Bless our school community and encourage and support um, them in their leadership role. And we'd ask all second years to um, repeat the angel commitment after myself. I promise to be uh, a friend to our first year students. I promise to set a good example. I promise to keep my eyes open to see when people need help. I now ask you to sign your pledge and to put on your badges. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCann. And just to be for the final blessing, I say thank you for the privilege of offering this Mass with you this morning. I say a special word of thanks to Mrs. Harrington, who always conducts things so well and so calmly. And of course to the students who read so beautifully, to Naomi, to Dara, to Julia, to Irame, to Nathan and to Anastasia. And of course to the staff here behind the scenes, to Mr McCann, Mr Walsh, Mr Dunn and Mr Kershaw who arranged the technology. And the person I've left last to thank is your chaplain, Father Brian. And I also welcome him here to the school as he begins his first term with you. I know he has, a, I won't say a difficult job to do, but certainly a very demanding job to do because there's always so much that needs to be done in a school. And where there are young people, there's always plenty of work, plenty of variety and plenty of excitement. So Brian, I wish you every blessing and every success as you begin your time here in Lakela. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace, the love, and the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Good morning, everybody. So we would hope now that after you've had your break, you're all settled and ready to engage with the second part of our feast day celebration, the awarding of our ambassador and our leadership roles. So we're all going to take a few minutes now just to be in the right space and to celebrate with your peers what is a wonderful, wonderful morning on our school calendar. So before we formally begin the awarding of our leadership and our ambassador's roles, I want to thank Father Owen for being here this morning and celebrating the Mass with us. I also want to thank Father Brian for his support in preparing the Mass, the music department for the wonderful music, Mr Kershaw for the wonderful technology, all of our readers and everybody who participated and made this morning's Mass so special. Already I have had texts from people outside of the school to say how proud they are to be associated with the La Cala School community. So well done. I say so many times the school is not the building, the school is you as students. Um, and I say often how proud I am to be principal here in La Cala, and I am again this morning. So as we begin our second part of our celebration, I want to extend a warm welcome to the parents who have joined us through the live stream. You are very welcome. We only wish we had you here in person with us this morning. We especially welcome our new teachers who are experiencing the Lakela Feast Day for the first time. And along with our new teachers, we welcome our first year students who are also celebrating the Feast Day for the first time today. We hope that today is the first step on your leadership journey. And as you move through the school, you will use your talents wisely and you'll show leadership in a way that reflects your best self. There'll be lots of opportunities for you. Seize those opportunities. To our sixth years today, at your last feast day as students of Lakela, we thank you for the leadership you've shown throughout your time with us. It was a joy this week to do the prefect interviews with Miss Nick and hear the words that you spoke as you described your school experiences. Words like family, generosity, diversity, courage, confidence, and safe. We are so glad that your experience with us to date has been so special, and we hope that this year continues to be a special year for you in your final year. The values that guide us as a school are reflected in the words of our school prayer. Learning, discovery, hope, joy, courage, confidence, gratitude, generosity and faith rooted in love. And today we acknowledge and we celebrate those students who have had the courage and the confidence to learn and discover new things, who have given their time generously to support the extracurricular and the co-curricular programme and who have stepped up and taken on leadership roles. These leadership opportunities are open to all our students and although only some students will receive awards today, we will continue to award them as the year progresses. So be assured that if you don't receive a badge today, there will be lots of opportunities in the future for you to receive one. Today is a very f different feast day for us, and we really look forward with hope to when we can once again come together as a school community in the same physical space to celebrate this day. I was reminded when I was thinking about our feast day and what I'd say to you of the Maya Angelou quote, when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will, will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So whether you're watching our celebrations today from your kitchen or from your classroom, we hope that you feel part of this celebration and today will be as special a feast day as the feast days that have gone before. I look forward to hearing about the award winners, and without any further ado, I'm going to hand over to Miss Latin to start the proceedings. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Miss Harrington. So, good morning, everyone, and you're very, very welcome to our first ever virtual uh, leadership ceremony this morning. Um, the leadership roles that are going to be announced today by um, the, the teachers, our leadership, they're going to link the awards to our core values and our root beliefs as a school community. Now more than ever, we need these to navigate our way through these unprecedented and challenging times. So um, 
really look forward to handing them out and celebrating our school leaders. So without further ado, we're going to begin and we're going to welcome Dr Finnegan to the stand to give out the awards for our STEM ambassadors and our Green School ambassadors. Good morning, everyone. So I'll start with the STEM ambassadors. The recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of discovery, confidence and courage. These values also tie in with our root belief of we can transform the world with our creativity. Thank you for actively promoting science, technology, engineering and maths in our school community. This year's recipients of the STEM ambassador badges are from second year, Magosha Kiziel. From third year, Ira May Alexis Miranda. From TY, Alexander Marzalek. From fifth year, Callum Doughton. And from sixth year, Nicole Peretz. Our next badges go to our Green School ambassadors. And the people that will receive awards or badges today are really just a small number of students that will work as a part of the core team. Green Schools is what wel um, welcomes all members of the school community, so please don't be afraid to get involved. The recipients of the badges are pupils who embody our core values of hope and discovery. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we are called to be our best selves. Thank you for actively promoting long-term whole school action for the environment in our school and in our wider community in Tyrrellstown. The Green Schools ambassadors are, from sixth year, Catalina Kojokariu and Caitlin Simpson. From TY, Sophie McQuillan-Clark, Nicole Roska, Sarah Mangan, Julia, Machek, Dean, Isabel, and Sarah Garrity. Thank you, Dr. Finnegan. So next up, we are going to give out the leadership badges for the Justice Ambassadors, and that's going to be presented by Miss Moynihan. Good morning, everybody. The recipients of these badges are peoples who embody our core values of hope and generosity. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of Shasimich Lekela. Through your interest and awareness of social and global issues, you help to give a voice to those who have been silenced. You are important and active members of our society and care about creating a more just world. So our first Lekela Justice Ambassadors are Chelsea Obasa, Sean Adesina Agumbiade, Stephanie Richard Ajasa, Carla Tudor and John Downey. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Moynihan. So next up, we are going to announce the ambassadors um, for our really important roles of school librarians and Miss McCann is going to come up and give out those badges now. Thank you. Good morning all. I'm representing the Library Committee and um, today we would like to announce our li Library Ambassadors for this academic year. And the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of generosity and love. And these values also tie in with our root beliefs. We are all teachers, all learners, always. The Library Committee would like to thank our ambassadors um, for all their efforts on the promotion of helping our pupils fall in love with books, our portals of discovery. Without you, the school would be a much less learned place. So I will announce the ambassadors now. And the ambassadors are Shadira Dim, Saoirse Kelly, Emily McGuigan, Mukesh, and Michaela Cullen. 
Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McCann. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Kennedy to come up and give out the ambassador roles for the eye health technicians and the Minecraft ambassadors. Thank you. Good morning, Michaela. The eye health technicians. The recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of generosity and confidence. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of small things matter. Thank you for assisting all members of our school community, helping fixing all of those small things that add up to be the big things. You each help the school to run smoothly and effectively. The ambassadors are from two Nelson Mandela, T.O. Driscoll, from two Mother Teresa, Haran Rizwan, from three Mahatma Gandhi, Electra, or Giamman, from four Oscar Romero, Aaron Murray, from four Mahatma Gandhi, Alexander Coy, from fi five Helen Keller, Callum Dalton, from five Mahatma Gandhi, Dara Wilders, and finally from five Mahatma Gandhi, Andrew L L Lewinsky. Well done to everyone. Moving on to the Minecraft ambassadors. The recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of discovery and joy. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we can transform the world with our creativity. Thank you for your dedication to work together and problem solve as a team. The ambassadors for Minecraft for this year are Abel Marcus Zidaru from 2 Oscar Romero, Marcia Ison from 2 Mahatma Gandhi, Dominica Alejandra from 2 Mother Teresa, Evan Sherian from 2 Mahatma Gandhi, Kieran Gerty from 2 Mahatma Gandhi, Loic Peroi from 3 Oscar Romero, Vince Cabrera from 4 Mahatma Gandhi, and Gift Nusa Irabor from 5 Mother Teresa. Well done to everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Kennedy. Next up, we have Mr. O'Riordan, who's going to present the ambassadors for the technical subject assistance. Good morning, everyone. So the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of generosity and discovery. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we are all teachers, we are all learners, always. So, the ambassadors for the technical subjects are for coding Hao Yi Chen in 2 Dorothy Day and Manas Pawn from 2 Mahatma Gandhi. For technology, we have Uravi Alexis Miranda from 3 Mother Teresa, uh, Kalen in 3 Nelson Mandela. For technical graphics, we have Jessica Akhtar from 2 Nelson Mandela, Nikanor Borta from 2 Mother Teresa, and we have Maud uh, in third year. For materials technology wood, we have Alexandru Kanatoy from 3 Nelson Mandela, and Alan Kisserman from 2 Oscar Romero. For also for technology, we have Adi Inca in second year. So congratulations to all. Thank you, Mr. O'Riordan. Um, next up, we have Ms. Kerry, who's going to present the ambassadors for our College for Every Student initiative. Hi folks, so the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of faith and hope. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we are called to be our best selves. Thank you so much for your optimism, positivity and encouragement of all students who may be struggling with what they might want to do and choose to do in college and after school. Education is our most powerful tool 
and it enables us to become the best versions of ourselves. So the CFES awards are going to Eve Carolyn, Veronica Zwerko, Shauna Gumbiadi, Julia Watzkak, Emily Connolly, Emma Connolly, sorry, and Salman Said Aid. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kerry. Next up, we have Miss McKeown, who is going to announce the Health Promoter Ambassadors. Good morning. The recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of hope and confidence. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of small things matter. The Health Promotion Ambassadors ensure that we live healthy lives by making small changes to our diet and lifestyle so that we can be the very best physical versions of ourselves. So the Health Promotion Ambassadors for this year are Myla Cabrera, Elizabeth Belmont Gorska, Ugne and Saoirse Moriarty. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McKeown. Next up, we have Mr. Gallen, who is going to present the Coding Wizards Ambassador Badges. Uh, the recipients of these badges are people who embody our core values of discovery, confidence and courage to explore the coding unknown. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we can transform the world with our creativity. Coding is an everyday part of modern society and our school life. It allows us to communicate, calculate, create, design, learn and play. The Coding Wizards uh, recipients are Shania from 6th year, Sergey from 5th year, Loic in 3rd year and Ania in 2nd year. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you Mr Gallen. Next up we have Mr Dunn who is going to announce the Kill Captain Ambassadors. Hi there, guys. Um, we're ridiculously lucky here at La Cala that within our school community, we have so many students that are really creative, enthusiastic, and energetic about the arts and about participating in music and other art forms as well, which makes our job in the music department very difficult when it comes to picking our Kyol captains. However, we've selected four students this year who we feel actively promote and participate in music in our school community. And they are from TY, Alex M, and Andrea. And then from fifth year, Kevin Paul and Andrea David. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Next up, we have Miss O'Brien, who is going to uh, announce the Performance Arts Ambassadors. Good morning, everybody. Last year we started a brand new, very exciting project where we brought the House of Swag into La Cala Secondary School. It was just amazing from the get-go, the amount of students who got involved, the excitement, the creativity, the learning, everything was fantastic. Unfortunately it got disrupted, but there are plans in action for the rest. The recipients for this year's badges for the awards um, are students who embody our core values of courage and joy, these values also tie in with our root beliefs of we can transform, transform the world with our creativity, which is more important now than it ever has been. Thank you to all those students who were involved in House of Swag for your promotion of the performance arts through House of Swag and filling our school with colour, joy, dance, music and creativity. These are the students who are recipients of the Ambassador Performance Arts Ambassador this year. Jadine Allen, Caitlin Brennan, Carla Featherston, Marcia Izen, and Tosin Idomini. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. O'Brien. Next up, we have Mr. Walsh, who is going to announce the gig ambassadors for this year. Young people of Lakela, I love you. <laughs> I'm here to announce the GIG Ambassadors. GIG stands for Growing in God. Um, and these, the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of joy and confidence. These values are also tie in with our root beliefs. Uh, root belief, the, the spirit fills us with joy. So the ambassadors for this year are Kelsey Murphy, Jessica Odemina, Rio Pavli, and Francis Custodio. Thank you. 
Thank you for that very enthusiastic uh, intro, Mr. Walsh. Next up, we have Miss Leddy, who is going to announce who the Model United Nations ambassadors are this year. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. So the uh, recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of hope and courage. Uh, these values also tie in with our root beliefs of differences are to be celebrated. Thank you for your continued efforts to practice tolerance and help us all live together in peace with one another as good neighbours. So, um, Alex Coyle, Alex M and Magic. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Leddy. Next up, we have Mr McNulty, who is going to talk about our Carda Clada ambassadors this year. Thank you. Hello everybody. Unfortunately, the Carja Clara Club activities are currently on hold due to COVID issues, but we are very hopeful that we can start it up again with smaller numbers after Halloween. I will soon be asking those who were involved last year if they will take part again this year, and those who were new to the club last year will receive their badges when they return to the Clara later this year. I should also be looking for some new volunteers from first year and we'll be talking to the first year tutors about this soon. The Carja Clada are a small group of students who volunteer to sometimes come into the Clada to have lunch and play games with our students. The Clada students really enjoy meeting the Carja Clada, which means friends of the Clada. The recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of love and faith. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of we are called to be our best selves. Thank you for your commitment to forge long-lasting friendships with your peers in the Clada. You make our school a brighter place to be in. So, thank you very much, Mr. McNulty. Uh, next up, we are going to invite Miss Sheehan um, to announce the Friendship Club Ambassadors for this year. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody our core values of generosity and gratitude. These values also tie in with our root belief of Shasmi Bekele. Thank you for endorsing the positive and modeling wh what it means to be a good friend. You make our school a warmer place to live and work within. This year, our friendship ambassadors are Saoirse Kelly and Sophie Neary. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Miss Sheehan. Next up, we have Miss O'Brien again, who is, go who is gonna announce the Film Club ambassadors for this year. Hello. We just want to recognize the level of creativity in La Kayla Secondary School and our involvement in the Fresh Film Festival every year with great success. This year, we are awarding four um, recipients of this particular award, all of which are TY students, where we have a very strong film club um, in the school. These recipients are people who embody our core values of discovery and joy. These values also tie in with our root beliefs that we can transform the world with our creativity. Thank you for allowing us all to become inspired by your artistic, technical, and creativity skills. Your films bring out the school community so much joy and pride. These are the recipients. Alexander Masalek, Rio Pavli, Dominic Ilinetsky, and Lara Kashkow. Thank you, Miss O'Brien. And now we'd like to invite Mr. McCann um, to the podium to announce the Breakfast Club ambassadors for this year. How are you folks? Uh, before I start, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Ina McKiernan, who is joining us online today, who has been an amazing Breakfast Club ambassador um, since we started, and happy retirement. Um, so the recipients of these badges are pupils who embody the core values of gratitude and generosity. These values also tie in with our root beliefs of the spirit fills us with joy, um, and you giving up your time generosity um, and being humble. Thank you for your service 
um, you make to the school and the, con uh, the contribution to making the school and lives of students um, a happier place to be. So, our breakfast club brigade are Amy Boss, Sarah Webb, Amelia J, Emily J, Sonia M, Patricia, and Lil Lily Rose Neary. Well done, and thanks again. Okay, so now Miss Gunica is going to come and announce the prefects for each year group. Good morning everyone and could I just take this opportunity to give a massive call shalom to everyone who's watching here today from, as Miss Harrington said earlier, from your kitchen or your sitting room and whatever else. So I've been in task with the role of uh, awarding the senior prefects today. So as Miss Harrington mentioned earlier, herself and myself spent two days during the week interviewing uh, a number of people for the role of senior prefects. And variety is the spice of life. And as it so happens, this team is gonna be made up of boys and girls and every different type of person that you can think of nearly, although we are all unique and special. So they're going to be the role models and they're going to lead from the front. And as a team, they embody all of our root beliefs and all of our values. But of course, the most important from their point of view is Shas Mujlakela as a team. They're going to be a very, very strong team who are part of um, lots of different projects over the year. So we're very excited to hear about lots of projects and what they have uh, planning for you. So without further ado, congrats to the following people. Elizabeth, Naomi, Kismat, Musa, Caitlin Simpson, Abigail, Neve O'Connor, Hilton, Jessica, Connor, Lola, Fabian, Philip, and Sandra. Congrats. Thank you, Miss Gunica. So I have the privilege this year of being year head to a wonderful group of 141 sixth year students, all unique and special in their very, very own way. Lots of applications went in this year um, for the positions of head boy and head girl. Thank you so much for putting the time and effort into making your applications, submitting them and sitting the interviews. There was, and you know, Miss Harrington and Miss Gunica sat and interviewed you, and there, there were just, there were so many positives. It was so hard to choose only two. So we've decided this year, after several long, uh, professional conversations, that we would choose this year a deputy head boy and a deputy head girl. So, um, they will be announced in due course, in a few minutes, I'm told, just to build up the suspense. Um, but before we announce the deputy head boy and head girl for sixth year and the head boy and head girl, we have last year's previous uh, head boy and head girl. So with a warm welcome, we are going to introduce Stephen and Mary to come onto the podium and impart their wise words for our students of Lakeila this year. So uh, welcome back Stephen and Mary, who will be coming in just a moment. <laughs> Perhaps maybe you can uh, take this opportunity to reflect on some of the leadership roles and maybe consider Could this Stephen year. Stephen and Mary make their way up to the prayer room please, Stephen and Mary. The beauty of live <laughs> YouTube. Uh, maybe reflect, as I was saying, um, on taking up a leadership role in the school. There's plenty more to divvy out during the year. So if you aren't one of the people receiving a, a role today or a post of responsibility today, definitely, definitely consider doing so later on during the year. Lots of opportunities. So without further ado, with bated breath, we welcome our previous head boy. And oh, lovely. Fantastic. Gorgeous. So they'll be with us shortly. They're getting a guard of honour, I hear from their peers. That's how well 
respected and missed they are in our community. So guys, come on, we welcome you. Up you come. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Mary Adindu, and I was the head girl of Lakela class of 2020. And firstly, we just want to start off by saying that if you, do, and if you don't get any role this year, as a sixth year, if you don't end up getting head boy or head girl, don't be phased by it, don't be discouraged. Make sure you go up for more leadership roles in the future. And if you do get it, be prepared because this is a lot. <laughs> and this is... Uh, my name is Steven Banassa. I was the head boy of the class of 2020. And uh, also I'm here to tell you about something about leadership skills and how to be head boy, basically, and head girl. Also applies to them as well. Um, basically, you should be focused on being public speaking possibly, maybe writing a presentation or something. Also being a great class representative for the year, wear a correct uniform, and just be sociable as a person as well. And we're gonna go uh, over some skills and qualities of what you need to have developed or even have as head boy or, or head girl. Uh, so you should be punctual. Social. Uh, organized. Optimistic. And it would be great to also have the spirit of Lakela, of Shastami Lakela. Uh, thanks for having us. And if for the future head boy or head girl, we would love to hear from you. If you have any questions or queries, uh, please email us on our social medias or even our school emails. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Slan. Slan. Thank you, Stephen and Mary. So lovely to see. Uh, familiar faces around the school again thank you so um yes enough suspense has been built up so now to announce the deputy head boy and head girl uh, for our sixth year group and for the school um our deputy head girl this year will be neve o'connor and our deputy head boy this year will be connor hannigan so well done and i look forward to seeing how you work with the other head boy and girl and how you delegate all of that leadership this year um, amongst each other and your year group. So well done. Thank you. Now to Miss Harrington who's going to announce the head boy and head girl. So folks, to our last award of the day, um, I always get the best jobs when principal, well some of the best jobs anyway. Um, so these two people have really, really embodied all we are about at Lakeila. They have uh, demonstrated the spirit in Lakeila in all their words and all their actions, really from the day they arrived into the school. And so I'm absolutely delighted to announce Jessica Odomina as our head girl and Philip Pavley as our head boy. Well done to both of them. Congratulations. Um, and just as we end, folks, this morning, I want to thank all of you as we walked around the school this morning, uh, the way you engaged with our mass, the respectful way you conducted yourself, the way you've supported your peers throughout this morning's celebration um, and celebrated with those who achieved uh, leadership roles. Again, I want to reassure you that this is not the end of the leadership opportunities. This is not the end of the giving out of the badges. There will be lots more, um, and I hope to see lots more of you wearing badges as the year progresses. We are going to end as we finished with our Lakeila blessing. Thank you to all of the students who, and the staff who participated in that. I'm sure you will all agree how beautiful it was, a lovely way to start our day, and I think a lovely way to finish our day. We're asking your tutors to keep you in class until we dismiss you with the bell. So when the blessing ends, we will uh, ring the bell or speak to you through the intercom. But nobody is to leave their classroom until you are told to do so. Thank you again. Have a really good long weekend. Be safe, be careful. And again, it is wonderful to be part of such an amazing school community. Um, I again just want to thank everybody who was involved this morning. Um, just well done, well done to everyone. A real example of us working and standing together. Thank you, folks. Good morning, everyone. It's been such a fabulous morning. Um, I just want to um, say a few words before we leave for the long weekend. 
Um, since joining you only a short few weeks ago, I'm struck by how kind and welcoming the whole student and staff body have been. Um, I'm so proud to work for you and with you all. Um, Father Owen spoke this morning about appreciation. Um, you have an incredible staff body surrounding you in this school and there's an exceptional high quality of care that is given to you in the Kayla and that's what makes this school so special. I would like to say a special thank you to Miss Latin um, for organising this fabulous event, all the teachers who took the time to nominate the students for the ambassador roles. None of this could have happened without the generosity of your teachers who give up their time to allow these wonderful extracurricular experiences for you. I urge you to take the time to say a little thank you to your teachers to show your appreciation to them. And finally, I would like to thank you. Thank you for turning up every day and embracing so graciously the new changes and challenges that you face. Thank you for the wonderful courage that you show when you prioritise your learning and get on with your schoolwork despite the difficulties that you may be facing. You have all shown your best self every day and we really appreciate you all. Congratulations on such a fantastic start to your new school year and have a wonderful long weekend.
children, and their children, and their children. His favor be upon you, and a thousand generations, and the family, and the children, and the children, and the children. Take a little, my benaw, and the zoo, and the Behind you and beside you, all my.